Hey guys, welcome to 5 Minute Effects. Today we're talking about groups. So over here what I've got is just Craig's test geometry, which is quite cool. And then I've just isolated the head with a bit of naming, well rather with the names, and converted it to geometry. So you can see here it's uh, unpacked geometry, so it's just points and polygons and all the rest. Um, but most importantly you will see that there is no groups. Okay, you'll see here if you type group, you've got two, you've got group, and then you've got group create. Essentially, these are the same thing, they both create this group, create node. And what it does is you give it a name for your group, uh, a type, so points, primitive, edges, or vertices, and a function. So a replace existing is going to see if there's a, another group called group two, or whatever this name is, and replace whatever you do here with that one. Um, union, uh, you can add to it, intersect and subtract uh, means you can do intersect and subtract operations. So subtract, you'll take away from the existing group and etc. Um, base group, this will enable you to give the um, any groups that you have previously. So you can add this here and uh, initial merge and everything with that. Um, Types here, you can. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually used this, but you can filter by geometry type here. The way I usually make groups is I'll either um, create use a bounding box. So, what it does here is you go you enter and you will get a bounding box at the origin or this position, and you can drag it over and you can see here you will have your groups. And if you give it only a few, then you will give get only a few groups. So let me just pin this, refresh, and you'll see what I'm saying here. So there's 7,330 primitives in that group. And if I, uh, if I modify this, you'll see that number will update by adding groups based on that. Okay. There's a bunch of different functions. There's bounding box, sphere, which means it just creates a sphere instead of a box. There it is. Sorry, you have to select it. Um, a sphere instead of a box if you just want to do round operations, objects and points. So what this will do is you can plug in geometry here. So instead of, if I just go objects and you put it in here, you'll see that wherever I move this geometry, these uh, bounding objects and bounding volume here only work with points. So you can't actually give it any primitives, but uh, there you go. That's pretty much what happens there. Bounding volumes, what you'll do is you just convert this to VDB. So you get a VDB from polygons, throw it on that, and uh, it will make a VDB here for the interior if you like, and then this group, it will make the groups for you, again with points. And you can extend the ISO surface if you want. Say you have a, a volume coming from somewhere else, then you can use that. Uh, I use this function quite a lot to make my groups based on uh, characters that are going through things, or geometry that's dropping, or particles, or anything like that. I'll use, I'll use this bounding from volume. Um, invert will obviously select the opposite. Keep normals. So what this will do is, if you have point normals, which you do over here, you will, um, based on these uh, angles and range and whatever, you can select the point normals. So we can select, let's just do this, everything that's on the Z direction. So on the Z direction, everything, all the normals that are facing in that direction, based on this threshold here, or this angle rather, you can select that. It's really nice for adding things like uh, debris on top of geometry. So say you want to scatter debris here, so you'll do primitives, and then you will scatter just based on this group, and it'll only scatter geometry here like this. It'll only scatter stuff on the top there, which is nice. I mean, it's really cool for doing things like just random grit sitting on stuff, like snow or even like uh, leaves or little bits of pebbles and stuff on, on things like that, or even dirt. And you can use this in various other ways too for your shaders and things like that.